We are getting new details about a man who worked at a Woodlands massage salon and was arrested after a client accused him of sexual assault. All this as a Texas-based attorney is offering to help other potential victims that the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office is asking to come forward. Devin Clark is in the Woodlands tonight just outside of the Oasis massage salon to fill us in. The manager who we spoke to here says that she did do a criminal background check on Corinde Sardano Sari that came back clean. She also said that when she hired him, he had a humble and polite personality. But one thing that we found out he didn't have, according to the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, was a massage therapy license. And the attorney we spoke to says that's a red flag. It's really sad that we are seeing a trend of abuse in the massage industry. While finding it disturbing, attorney Michelle Simpson Teagle, who primarily represents victims of sexual assault, says she unfortunately is not surprised to hear about last week's arrest of 43 year old Corinde Sadanu Sari. And so the trend that we're sadly seeing is that abuse and people being touched inappropriately, which is a form of abuse and sexual assault. Uh, when you're in that vulnerable, frankly, naked position. Sadan Asari worked at Oasis Massage Salon, which is registered in Texas under the name Living Water Day Spa. It's also on the businesses to do their job in vetting their employees in acting on any flags or information that they have. We went to the salon and asked the manager about Sadana Sari's employment and arrest. She didn't want to go on camera, but told us that Sadana Sari had previously worked in California and despite not having a license, trained him on the appropriate body parts to work on. She said that he did have some certificates and experience and that he performed a specialized Indian style massage. She also said nothing like this has ever happened here and she fired him right after his alleged victim came out of the room frantically crying, adding that she is cooperating with investigators who say Sadana Sari confessed to doing this in the past. People who are predatory and decide to do that work and, and hurt people who are in vulnerable positions, there's often not just one victim. With that, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office is asking for any other potential victims out there to come forward immediately. Meanwhile, Sadan Usari is being held in the Montgomery County Jail right now on a $50,000 bond for second degree felony sexual assault. Reporting in the Woodlands, Devin Clark, KPRC, 2 News.